Well, hello and welcome back, my Royal Rogues. My name is Jesus Enrique Rosas. I'm the Royal Rogue, and tonight we have some revelations of what is going behind closed doors at Archwell and WME after the fiasco of the merging of the Invictus games and the huge backlash that Meghan and Harry are facing on the, in, the, in the last 48 hours. But first, I want to show you this picture of William because maybe, maybe you have just spotted that. Maybe you haven't noticed, right? It just as Meghan copies Catherine, the way she dresses, her style and everything, just a bad copy. I'm being a rather lousy copy of William right now because I got the same recycled plastic bottle tie that he used a while ago. I had I had this uh, tie from a while ago. I was waiting to wear it for a nice moment about uh, William and Catherine, but I think that they need our support right now. We are still expecting Catherine to uh, heal completely. And William should be really stressed with all this pressure and making those statements about the Middle East that I support wholeheartedly. So I decided to say, hey, why not? Yes, I, I am with you trying to save the planet and making this, uh, this stuff. This is from Will Mock, by the way, if you're interested. Amazing tie. So let's, let's um, <laughs> start with a couple memes as well. The first one that we will be uh, elaborating in a couple of minutes. Emilia Clark receives MBE. Prince William lets her sit on the Iron Throne for a couple of minutes. This you can read on my satire blog, uh, the Duke and Duchess of Sausages.com. Link in the description of this video, just for fun, of course. This is just for fun. But the real deal, the real uh, news about. Emilia Clark's MBE. We will be talking about that in just a couple minutes. And there was this news about Megan's and, 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 and this apron that she had. These are the news that you can only read on the Duke and Duchess of Sausages.com. Megan Markle's stain resistant apron comes in handy while she butters her royal career. All these articles written by yours truly, the Royal Row. Go check them out there. So let's talk about. What is going on? Everyone is complaining about many facts. The first one, the most important, is that the veterans who should be the protagonists, I didn't see a single name. I didn't see a single anecdote. I didn't see any one of those amazing veterans that gave so much for their country feature in the last 48 hours, it was all Meghan and Harry. They could have used their platform to bring awareness to them, to the veterans, but they didn't. Can, can you imagine why? And I want to show you this, by the way. This is something that I want to show you because this is important. Paul Anka. I'm not that much of a fan of Paul Anka. I respect his career, but to some extent, because this is what he shared uh, recently on Twitter, now X, two Canadians were proud to have a part in honoring Prince Harry and Meghan for their contribution to the incredible Invictus Games. Okay, the Invictus Games is incredible because it features people that deserve that attention, but Harry and Meghan's contribution? Give me a break. I was happy to rewrite my way for my dear friend Michael Bublé to perform for them. So this is the thing. Why perform for Harry and Meghan or Meghan and Harry? Why are they so important to this? It's like, oh, they are bringing awareness to the Invictus Games. Are, are, you, are you really sure about that? Is, I think it's more like they are bringing their drama to the Invictus Games and stealing that spotlight from the real protagonists of this. But we have seen, we have said this a couple of times before, and I'm going to say it again. We are watching the empire of the Hierarchals crumble in real time, and they're grasping as the straws as the last resort that they have for attention and for notoriety 
And of course, since the Invictus Games is going to be a recurring theme in the following years, this is going to this is going to happen again and again and again. But people are going to react in the same way, such as uh, J. J. E. May. Why honor Prince Harry? You should have honor the veterans. The veterans, athletes, are completely forgotten when Meghan and Harry roll into town. Completely inappropriate. Mark Jack, this is tone deaf. Honor the wounded warriors, for goodness sake. Charles Voicemail, why make it about one of the many people who helped in starting up Invictus? Why not encourage and honor the vets who, after suffering months and years of pain and misfortune, are, thanks to the care they have received, and Invictus doing it their way. Well said. That that should be the true spirit of this. And that is why people at Archwell are trying to, well, come to terms to the fact that the Duchess is not happy about any of this. Like, it, it was their fault. It was Meghan and Harry who decided to make this about themselves, but the uh, peasants at Archwell are the ones, uh, well, getting the hard end of the stick. But WME, you remember that WME's contract over Megan or with Megan is going to be due around April when she signed with them in 2023. Well, they are just silent. They, uh, they're saying, I quit. There's nothing else we can do about this. There's nothing we can salvage from this relationship. I, I, I mean, the professional relationship from WME with Megan, because Harry is not in that. Because it's just impossible. It's You cannot fight the fact that it's not trolls over the internet. This is not evil people who want to hurt or harass Meghan and Harry. This is them actively not doing what they should be doing. You are patrons of a charity, of an initiative, of an event. You have to make sure that the event is prominently showcased everyone, everywhere. Not you, not your uh, clothing, not your... Everything you that's but it's a that is a bit hard to grasp. I'm not going to vouch for Harry, dimwit, blockhead. Uh, but Megan, Megan knows what she's doing. You know that she craves the attention about about above anything else. And by the way, I need to before we move on this picture. Before we move on to Emilia Clark, I want to mention this that I saw on GB News. Uh, Isabel defends Prince William after Republican Graham Smith. I didn't know about the existence of this chap, but it's funny. Brands him a hypocrite and calls into question his work ethic. And people are also complaining and criticizing the Byline Times. I criticizing William for building only 24 housing um, developments for homelessness, for, for the homeless and uh, at his state. So... It's like you try to do something and it's never enough. If you don't do some anything, they complain. If you do something, they complain. I have realized that this is a game that you can never win. And I have also realized how you rogues, you, you are quick to defend William in the best possible way. And also stating that he just doesn't care. He just doesn't care about that. And he shouldn't care about that because these are not the people that he is doing these things for, especially when you have pronouns in bio. No, no, no. That invalidates your argument instantly. But th let's talk about this. Besides my satire and all that stuff, it was nice to see Emilia Clark so starstruck when she's also star. In, in, in with her massive work in Game of Thrones and amazing, and, and of course, in many other movies and TV shows. And but William was also really, really nice with her and her mom. I didn't know, I or maybe I did not remember that Emilia has had 
uh, had a brain injury accident uh, a handful of years ago. And it was thanks to her mother who did not find proper care for her. So they developed this initiative for people who have suffered this kind of uh, brain injury accidents. That is just amazing and a very well-deserved MBE. And you see that Emilia is absolutely delighted of being there. I want to comment close today's uh, show with this uh, comment. You know that I am not a fan of Dan Wooten, but at the same time, I'm glad that he has been cleared of uh, the two investigations. Uh, it seems that there was no evidence about what was being claimed about him. And yes, his ex sounded like a total nut job and the cases sounded a bit phony. So I guess this is, this is the right thing. And even if I'm not a fan of Dan Wooten, I never forget how he acted with uh, Johnny Depp. Uh, even if I'm not that much of a fan of Johnny Depp, but you, you know how it is. Yeah, I think it's the right thing when you get clear and justice is, is uh, served. We can say that. So maybe you want him to go back to GB News, but since GB News uh, threw him under the bus, I don't think that is the right thing. I think that anyone with, uh, with just a bit of, uh, I don't know, pride would not accept that. It's like that uh, I should be talking to my other channel about Gina Carano and Disney, by the way. I should write that down for my other channel. But my Royal Rogies, I'm going to leave you with this picture because I know that you really like this. My Royal Rogies, my name is Jesus Enrique Rosa. I'm the Royal Rogue. And until we meet on another video or another live, remember the two most important words, much love and bliss.